So there's a couple things to address, a couple things on the shelf that absolutely have to be addressed. There are items up here that have been moved up here because we've been moving right along. Uh, some of these items were brought in and they haven't been addressed yet and we need to rearrange the shelf a little bit to get some other things up there. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. Okay, so first things first, we got all the Star Trek up on the shelf exactly like I said. We're gonna, we got them all up there, they're all managed, they're all, they're all up there. And I've got to be able to get things like Kit Fisto on the shelf in a spot where he looks good, where it all makes sense. By the way, if I'm going to knock something about the quote black collection, I'm going to tell you that um, I was not expecting their range of movement to be good. And at the same time, uh, his feet are weird. I'm trying to work with them. I noticed that there's little areas like here where his leg moves, which that's going to help a lot. It's like right here. So that's going to help us. But his legs, it took me a little while when I was first trying to get him to stand up properly for him to look decent. Uh, that's not exactly a knock at first. I, I guess I did just say that. But really... Um, it was just something that caught me off guard. It wasn't it wasn't easy to adjust his legs at first. I was trying to mess with the ankles and it just wasn't working. Uh, this kind of kept me from seeing exactly how they move. But we want to get him up there, okay? And my idea is to probably put him about right here, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And because I'm not 100% 100% sure yet, there are a couple things that we have to ask ourselves, a couple movements that we need to make. One movement that we have to make without a doubt because Pokemon is going to be on the shelf, okay? And when I get a chance to get things that I really like like a Cyndaquil and whatnot, there needs to be space for a Cyndaquil. We also have three of the original uh, starters before we have the original starters before their main evolutions and I'd like to bring them up there and get them on the shelf as well so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to move these Pokemon up to that part of the shelf and see if it works see if it looks good so let's let's do that first okay so not not a bad thing, not a bad thing. We got this cleared out, we moved the Pokemon up there. That's gonna be good because we have more Pokemon that are going up there. Like I said, there are three of the original starters that are coming in here that are gonna go up there and they're all plushies and whatnot, so they're gonna need a spot to stay. And these guys are big. They take up a decent portion of the shelf by themselves, but Pokemon is a fandom that I generally Love. I generally love. I look forward to it. In fact, I'm restarting Sword very soon here so that I can get the character that I absolutely want. When I first started playing Sword, I picked a girl. And the reason was because my little girl picked a boy and named him Bill. And I kept getting comments online where people were like, Oh, I see you're playing Pokemon. I see you caught a thing. I haven't. No, I'm not playing. Ah, oh, I see you started Pokemon. Hey, did you just get so-and-so? Hey, uh, you want to battle in Pokemon? No, I'm not actually playing Pokemon. And that went on and on and on because I'd said that I was going to let my wife and my daughter play first and I was going to buy another copy for myself so I was going to get on it later because I knew that I'd run right through it and I knew that they take their time more than I do. So I waited and then when I finally got on I made a girl and I named her Billy Bush just because and it worked but I'd like to go ahead and make me now so I'm going to restart that whole game and anyways I haven't done the Frozen Tundra yet. I purposely held off on playing the Frozen Tundra and because of that this is probably a good time to reset now the Frozen Tundra is up. There's two games on the way and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. But those, those are going to work now. This also opens up the area over here by the X-Men, which is going to be pretty solid because there are more X-Men coming onto the shelf. In fact, we already have a Gambit, which, is, which needs to go into a space. He's a really solid figure. He's from the Legends Collection. And along with him, we also have, I'm telling you, she's here. I know she's here. I literally just moved her. Like, there she is. We're going to put Rogue up there with him. So I got a Rogue 
which is pretty decent, and I got a Gambit, which is pretty decent, and that, that's just that's just one part. There are other X-Men characters as, as well, like statues and all kinds of things that need to go up there. In fact, since they're gonna go here, let's also address, and I've already done a I've already done a video on this guy, but he needs to go up there, right? He definitely needs to go up there. He de he deserves to be in the X-Men spot. So we're also going to end up finding a spot for him as we arrange. And just for the sake of, since we're already moving in that direction, I also have this statue, which was given to me quite a while ago by Spencer. And that was Kage. He was an old member of the Reploid Productions team. This is also going to go up in this section. And this shelf seems like it's going to become all X-Men. This is Dragon Ball Z. There's X-Men. There's Gundam. This is Star Trek so far, and maybe for argument, maybe Star Wars goes over here, but I'm not 100% sure of that because I have two pretty big Star Wars items that I don't think will fit here. They may need to be on one of the bigger shelves like down there. Speaking in which, uh, Wonder Woman almost has to be on this shelf level right here. You can't see where I'm pointing, but she almost has to be. And we've got a bunch of Wonder Woman that are sitting on the lower shelves down here that have to move. There's a lot that we have to figure out as we go through this, as we move things around, as we change the way things are going to work. Like the Jedi robes have to come down. They're not actually going to be on the shelf because they're going to be moved. And they're going to be moved into the cubby hole as the comic books come out. Oh, this room is ever changing. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff going on here to make this be what... I want it to be and it, like I said it's gonna take time that's not a, that's not it was no exaggeration whatsoever um, there are random items that are giving me troubles here so far in terms of arranging things so maybe the Star Trek maybe this becomes more of a random area over here next to the Star Trek and the reason I say that is because we've got things like we've got the Supergirl statue here which is a solid piece but she doesn't really have a place she's just comic book comic book stuff and we have a couple sailor moon characters and we have some anime characters and things of that nature i'm thinking around here maybe we do some of the randoms for the sake of pokemon here's a big pikachu just like i said moving things here and there yada yada pokemon is going to have its own shelf uh I'm, st I'm still figuring out exactly what gets its own shelf and what gets to share space because some collections are vastly bigger than other parts of the collection and when it comes right down to it, some collections are constantly being added to while some collections are just never going to get much bigger. Case in point, the Play Arts Kai figures which I like quite a bit. I don't come across them very often, and I don't go out of my way for them very often, and there's a reason for that. I like characters like Tifa Lockhart. I like Eris. I like a lot of Final Fantasy VII, a lot of Final Fantasy VI, which there are no characters, to be fair, unless you're looking at, like, Dissidia, so there's one or two characters. And these people, I'm just never going to have very many of them. Maybe in total, in life, Collecting and collecting, we might see a total of 10 to 15 of these guys ever. We're talking ever. Because there's just not many of them that have come out that I really care about. So it kind of, it's kind of getting a little tough to figure out where to put everything. We got some Mega Man stuff that's down here. And we got Wonder Woman across the bottom of the shelf that we have to fix. I have to bring in two other shelves exactly like this and lay them on the floor so that we actually have space to put all the books and things like that. Like I said, big project. This is basically, like, like the video says, collection update moving stuff. And that's exactly what the point of this video is. We're just talking about things. In fact, here, bam. Bam, bam, Pokeballs, okay? And good ones, too. These are the ones that came with the golden cards. Does anybody remember the golden cards that came out? These were sold through Burger King, if I remember right. Well, I had a Mewtwo. I just had one. Uh, this is the only one that I had, and I kept it for a very long time. And then I helped somebody clear out some space in an attic, and they had these two, and these two were offered to me 
since I helped, and that was the Togepi card and the Pikachu card. I don't remember how many of these there were, but these are pretty cool little collector's memorabilia. They are Pokemon. They are going to go up here. So we know that, but we don't exactly know how this shelf is going to be arranged yet. Um, going a little further than that, uh, there's more Pokemon here. There's more Pokemon right here. Here's more Pokemon. Into the Pokemon, I believe. There we go. These will be the last of the Pokemon that go up there currently for right now. These have been on the shelf for years, for years and years and years. In fact, uh, you can tag these back. Let's fix Charmander here. You can tag these back to quite a long time ago, in fact. If you remember all the way back to Reploid Productions when I was doing shows on there, the intro used to showcase these guys on the shelf when all the, when all the camera angles and everything would move across. Uh, we know that they will end up on the Pokemon shelf. We don't know to the extent yet, so they're up there. That's all the Pokemon. We've moved all the Pokemon. Power Rangers are down here at the far corner. Uh, there's a bunch of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman has to go on this shelf here. Some of this stuff has to move over here. <sighs> Collecting. Let's bring in... Just for, just for what this episode seems to have turned into is since we're moving things around, we set up where the X-Men are primarily going to go and we set up where the Pokemon are probably primarily going to go. I'm going to bring in those Pokemon plushies, the ones that still need to go up on the shelf, and we're going to get them up there now just to get it finished. Let's do that to end this video. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of fracking Pokemon. Um, let's go over why each one goes on the shelf before we even put them up. This is actually kind of hard to hold all of them. First off, we have Totodile. The reason that I have a Totodile is very simple. This is my wife's first Pokemon. It's the first one she had, first one she cared about, first one she loved. This is one of her all-time favorite Pokemon because you never quite forget that first starter that you had. And this is important because of that, and it goes up on the shelf. I talked about what happened with me and Finnegan and this household. We were so excited to see this little fox that we ran out and got three of these. One for me, one for my wife, one for my daughter. We loved the idea of Finnegan. All three of us wanted this starter until we seen the evolutions. That still makes it important because the starter design is still one of the best designs that I've ever seen in Pokemon. It's going up on the shelf. We happen to have a Torchic. I like Torchic. Torchic goes up on the shelf. It's really no deeper than that. The three starters, the Kanto starters, guys, of course these were going up on the shelf. There was no way we were not going to include the Kanto starters on the shelf. It just simply was not going to happen. These, I still think, the best design generation that there has ever been, and I'm not trying to be a Gen 1-er. It's just that, damn, were these solid. All three of these starters are solid to the point where it can literally be tough to pick the one you want because not only do they start solid, every single one of them in solid and you have something legitimately to look forward to. Let's put them on that chair over there. And lastly, he goes up on the shelf. This fat mug right here, this fat mug, this Snorlax has kind of become a strange... Um, a strange little thing passed back and forth by me and my wife. I don't know how it started. I don't know why it started, but we do this all the time. We have a gigantic Snorlax pillow, like a gigantic Snorlax beanbag that Gwen sits, sits on in her room. My daughter loves that thing. We have a gigantic one of these that sits in the room that sits up on the thing and takes up nearly and nearly like the entire top of the shelf all the way up to the ceiling just by himself and we have this little one for some reason this fat mug has become like a strange symbol that me and my wife pass back and forth he, she thinks he's ridiculously cute i think he's kind of cool like there's something ridiculously awesome about snorlax and his overall design that just i love this thing I love this thing, and so it goes on the shelf, no questions asked. 
Now I need to arrange that shelf so they can all be up there. Oh, and I guess, uh... Uh, for a second I was considering this. I mean, he's on the shelf. We're not keeping him. We're just not. We're just not going to keep every little thing just because it's Pokemon. This is kind of old. It's kind of beat up. Its tail is kind of broken off. It's just not what it was. Um, it's not what it was. It's not going up there. So, let me arrange the shelf. Okay, so there we go. The Pokemon have all found their way to the shelf. Everything that was already added to the room, everything I've talked about so far in terms of Pokemon, has found its way onto the shelf. They have a specific spot. The X-Men now have a specific area that they're all cobbled into, and there's more X-Men on the way. The Star Trek have a decent little section here, and of course I'll pick up more Playmates and things like that on the way. I don't think my ships are coming up here. My ships very well, very well may stay where they are in terms of the collection downstairs on shelves and whatnot, but I may bring them up here to talk about the ships that I own at some point. All the Dragon Ball Z has a decent little space, and it's definitely not over. I think chances are we will add to them. And all the Gunpla and Gundams in general also have a decent little spot on the shelf now. I've got to get Star Wars up on the shelf. We've got to make more of the Gunpla that's up on the top rack and things like that and add them into the collection so that we can start buying more Gunpla and so on and so forth. All the Wonder Woman need to be moved on to the shelf over here at this level and just some more random things. This will not be the only rearrangement video because this is going to be, as I've said time and time again, a big project and we are far from completing it. But so far, that's all that I really needed to do with this episode. Just something to say that we're sticking with the collection, that we're constantly making updates and we're moving things around. And like I said before, if it doesn't have a place, if it doesn't have a legitimate meaning to me, it doesn't go on the shelf. So part of this rearrangement is actually really important because some of the items that are on this shelf right now will not be staying here. And as we get to them, we'll talk about them. Later on. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.